Good morning, Coin Roll Hunters. Matthew, the great Coin Roll Hunter, here to share your coffee break this morning with you. Pull up a chair, pull up a scone. I don't know. <laughs> Wherever you're checking me out this morning, thank you for making me a part of your day. Um, I'm happy to announce another half dollar roll from our continued series, uh, Coin Roll Searching for Silver through a $500 box of half dollars. Man, he is really milking this series. Well, you know what? Uh, I do enjoy my coin roll hunting, and uh, I don't know about you, but I get to do coin roll hunting every single day. So uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can join me as we coin roll hunt every day. Uh, I hope you're still having fun with us here at uh, Matthew the Great Coin Roll Hunter. Um, channel. Um, really, um, I'd like it to become a forum for uh, numismatic knowledge as well. So uh, as we're going through here, uh, through this video here and through this roll, if you see a particular date in the coin roll that uh, you're interested in, um, I encourage you to uh, share your comments about that date. Um, you know, maybe if it's a story, um, there's so much more to coin roll hunting than just the physical coin itself. And I guess that's what I'm trying to express through uh, through these videos. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, we can make this as cool of a community as we want to. So I just encourage anybody to get on here and share your thoughts and your opinions. Um, what does coin roll hunting mean to you? Is it the dates? Is it the coins? Is it because it reminds you of your old Uncle Larry? Um, I don't know, but I'd like to. So uh, share your stories in the comments. And uh, now we will check to see if we've got any silver. Brrr, if you're at home, do the drum roll noise, because that's really fun. <laughs> Brrr, and kind of in focus. All right, so looks like a lot of clad, but I don't know about you. This one, for some reason, is standing out at me. So maybe, just maybe, we might actually have something today. Ooh, I pulled it out the wrong way. That looks like it's in really good condition. Oh, it's probably... Oh, what is it? I'm going to say 71. All right. 1999. Ugh. 71. That was just a foolish guess. I'm sorry. I should have known better. 71. It should have been, should have looked like this one here. This is your 71. 74. See, I'm getting better. <laughs> All right. Uh, unfortunately, I don't see any silver in this roll. Um, but that doesn't mean there isn't a 1983 Denver in this roll that uh, I can upgrade the last one with. So, anyway, um, remember our bicentennials? See? Um, they just keep popping up everywhere. Um, I swear they made a bazillion of those. 1971. So here's your 1971. And that's actually in pretty good shape. So maybe I could have been right. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just... Oh, man. You know, I love mornings. Maybe I'm just a morning person. If you got to roll out of bed knowing you had a half dollar, a roll of half dollars waiting for you to search through, I think you'd just spring out of bed with me. Oh, yes, that is the coolest thing. You never know what you're going to find. Unfortunately, no silver, no 1983D, just a lot of really awesome half dollars. Love those Kennedy half dollars. Um, so our new mystic, numismatic challenge for you this morning is uh, let's talk about um, the engraver who did the uh, design for the Kennedy bust. That seems fun. So uh, we look at it all the time when we're searching for these things. Maybe we should get to know the artist behind uh, the treasure. So uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss tomorrow's roll. Uh, like this video, pass it on to your friends. Let's grow this community. And uh, I've been really enjoying our time together. So until next time, happy hunting.